discussing. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to discuss uh, some of the reasons why you'll never really fully understand your fitness uh, career or your fitness itself until you fully understand the muscles and what they do. Um, some of this has a lot to do with injury, but also uh, just being in the gym and knowing what your muscles are supposed to be doing with each exercise is extremely important to make sure to uh, maintain the integrity of the exercise itself that you're performing and also to, um, to make sure that you're not compensating with uh, other muscles that are not supposed to be engaging during that muscle or uh, during that exercise. For practitioners, uh, not knowing the muscles and not understanding the actions uh, can really set you back when you're trying to assess a client and, and see what it is that's causing them pain. So let's do an example. Uh, if I had a client who came in and said to me, um, Mercedes, I'm experiencing pain every time I raise my shoulder like this. Um, the test for me to make sure that that is the action that they're taking, I might put a little bit of resistance and see where it is exactly, wh what part of this range of motion do they experience the pain. Why am I doing that? Because at different levels of the action, um, some muscles are engaged and other muscles become engaged as you begin to raise the arm above your head. Okay. Um, so, for example, if I'm just raising my, he my, my arm forward like this, I'm in flexion of the humerus. So I'm going to take all of the muscles that do flexion of the humerus. Uh, if I'm raising up above the head, I'm also elevating my scapula. So I'm going to do the muscles that flex the humerus and also raise the scapula or elevate the scapula. So with this client who has pain when they're doing flexion, and pain with elevation of the scapula, I'm going to work on their pec major. I'm going to work on their anterior deltoid. I'll also want to work on their biceps, their coracobrachialis, teres major, and subscapularis. For the elevation of the scapula that happens once they hit about there, they start to elevate the scapula, I want to work on the levator scap and the upper traps. So as you can see, it's you know, be really becoming a great uh, clinical therapist or really fully understanding your body and your fitness level and your injuries um, really comes down to uh, knowing your muscles and knowing what's happening with the muscles when you're experiencing pain. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to get some training here at the studio, you can just click on some of the links below. We do have free workshops uh, that are ongoing throughout the year. And we also have some paid workshops if you wanted to come in and really learn your muscles. And uh, if you're a practitioner and you need to review some of these actions and muscles, you're more than welcome to join us there. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.